I got my new MacBook Pro in the mail two weeks ago, and today I'm finally opening it. I got no. I can't even speak. I got my new iPad. Ah! MacBook Pro. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, before we continue, please hit that subscribe button and ding the bell. Okay, first of all, I feel as though I need to explain myself. What kind of psychopath orders a new computer and leaves it sitting around for two weeks? Oh, actually. <sighs> Postmark June 25th. It's been three weeks. <sighs> Those of you grown-ups out there already know that things take it takes a minute to set these things up, and when you're all grown up like me and you've spent your big girl money on this, you want to be able to enjoy it. Ooh, I feel a lesson coming on. When you're in your 30s, even during a pandemic, life is busy. I've got house maintenance, rental property maintenance, I work in an office, errands and Zoom classes and self-tapes, dog poop to clean up, YouTube videos to make. <laughs> and I teach every morning and I make recordings and the list goes on and on and on. And I don't even have babies. If I had babies, it would be game over. This thing would be sitting in my closet for the next decade. When I knew I was gonna make this unboxing video, I watched a bunch of unboxing videos to figure out what this is all about. And I found it really cute watching teenagers or people in their early 20s opening these boxes because the narrative always went something like this. I just got this in the mail five seconds ago and now I'm gonna open it and set it up. <sighs> I remember having that kind of time on my hands. I get it, I've been there. But I'm an old lady now, and I've reached the stage where I need to carve out time to do everything, even the fun stuff. Like this computer. Okay, backstory. I'm a real proponent of earning your equipment and earning your upgrades. Proponent, good word, look it up. It means I'm a fan of it. Basically, get good at something or get really busy at something before you go spending a whole whack of money on new stuff. Like this computer. It makes sense, I think. Call me grandma, but I'm kind of old fashioned that way. And I'm incredibly frugal. Frugal, another good word, means cheap or sensible with money. Trust me, my wedding dress costs 80 bucks. I don't like to spend money on anything if I don't have to. I think about it like this. If you've never skied before and you go into a sporting goods shop, the salesperson will try to talk you into something high end. And you might even go for it. I mean, the skis are beautiful, they're shiny and new, and they're made for someone who really knows how to ski. But the reality is, you're gonna be so scared and terrible for at least your first ski season, you may as well go pick up a $20 pair of straight skis from your local charity shop and have at it. I'm thinking like a pair of 1985 super heavy fiberglass ones. That's really all you need. You haven't earned the upgrade yet. Get good, do it often, and in like two to five years, maybe go buy yourself some shiny new skis from that ski shop. Well, that's been my story with learning how to use a Mac. I've been a PC girl since my first experience with MS-DOS in grade two, and I've been firmly against and petrified of learning how to use a Mac my entire adult life. But then as my singing career stuff started to take off and things were moving more and more online, I realized I couldn't avoid switching systems any longer. Because it pains me to admit this, but for multimedia stuff, PCs really do suck. Where was I? PCs suck. But hells no, I wasn't buying a new Mac for myself. Have you seen how much they cost? Plus, I wouldn't have had any clue how to use it. What a waste that would have been. But as luck would have it, a couple months ago, this beautiful 2012 hand-me-down MacBook Pro came down the pipeline and I took it and it was free. <sighs> So after waking up from my COVID coma in April, I set about learning how to use it. <laughs> I even restored it to factory settings and upgraded the operating system, even though that's something Apple claims cannot be done. I read a bunch of articles online and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I managed to upgrade so that I could get iMovie on this puppy. <laughs> but it became clear after a few weeks that the multimedia demands of 2020 were just a little too much for this old girl. She was a sweet little thing. My second YouTube video ever was about my part-time teaching job with VIP Kid. And that video took me two weeks to edit. 
Partially because it was a long video and it required a lot of edits and cuts and weird stuff I'd never done before that I was still learning how to do. But also largely because this computer was so slow and glitchy. I believe you guys have already witnessed some of my frustration with this computer on one of my previous videos about gaining my first 100 subscribers. It's just really slow and really time consuming. Ugh so annoying. So I begrudgingly started looking at other options. Now another little something about me, I love finding value in things that people don't find valuable. A lot of people really love brand new computers. I get it, it's the same reason people buy new houses, or new bikes, or new dogs. It's clean, it's never been used by anyone before, there's something about that that makes people feel great. It makes me feel great too, but spending a bunch of money that I don't have to feels awful. So I was thrilled to learn that Apple actually sells certified refurbished MacBook Pros for a fraction of the cost that a brand new one would be. So I started looking on their website and I found a few that I really loved. Word of advice, if you're gonna purchase a refurbished Mac from the Apple store, move on it quickly. These things come and go within a day and they're always updating their stock, but if you find something you like, just buy it. This actually happened to me twice. I had something in my cart and I was wiffle waffing and then wiffle waffing, hemming and hawing. Sure. And I lost it on both computers because someone bought it before me. It's not like eBay or something, they just move quick. So day of, if you find something you like, just buy it. So I bought this computer, it showed up three days later, and it's been sitting in my office collecting dust ever since. Then this past week, entertainment in Canada exploded back to life since we flattened the curve. Congratulations, Canada. Good job. And I got a whole bunch of self-tape requests in my email inbox from my agent. For those of you who don't know, a self-tape is like a virtual audition, so instead of going in and reading or singing a bunch of stuff for them, they ask you to record something and then they watch it from the comfort and safety of their own offices or homes or whatever. So I suddenly had six self-tapes due within three days of each other. I'll actually be posting a video about how I set up my self-tapes next week because it looks like in-person auditions will not be happening for a long time. But anyway, shooting, editing, and uploading six self-tapes in such a short time frame on this struggling machine was the last straw. So I emailed them all off and I vowed to make time to open this new computer this week. So it's Sunday morning, it's a beautiful day, and I am inside making time to open my MacBook. Oh, and I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. This is the box. I'm gonna open the tape. Oh. I don't know what this is. Ah, great, it's been sitting around long enough. The tape has disintegrated, so... Oh, Apple, so thoughtful. Easy to open. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh. Oh. Oh, boy. I was kind of expecting, like, Amazon packaging. Like something, like, plasticky. That's actually, like, a really nice box. to me, MacBook Pro. I'm so excited. Honestly, don't even want to open it. It's so beautiful. Wow, that is nice. Okay, little pull tab. Thank you, Apple, for making everything so easy. Oh my gosh. Oh, box still looks beautiful outside of the packaging. Can I do this? My knees, maybe? There we go. Oh God. How do people unbox these things gracefully? I don't understand it. Oh, you 20 somethings are so cute. Ooh. Ooh. What's it look like? I can't see it. What's it look like? Is it nice? Oh my gosh. Girl, we're not in Kansas anymore. Oh my goodness. It's so tiny and thin. It's beautiful. It's so small. And then. Oh. 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 Like a little envelope. Oh my god. Check that out. Look at the difference. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Thank you. I'm letting you go now. Ah, oh, cute. So, what do we have in the box here? We have 
little cord for charging. We have all my warranty information, which I imagine I should keep. And ooh, charging box. It's a small box. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. So let's have a look at everything. That is so freaking gorge. I can't even. Oh, my darling, you're so beautiful. I have to set this up, but I'm also starving. So I'm gonna have some food and yeah, this is gonna be my first video editing on this computer. So I'm gonna set it up and edit this video on this video. Oh my God, I'm running out of batteries on this camera. John. I'm John. <laughs> Kiss me, wife. Ah, oh, good, that felt better. I actually put the whole thing back in the box because uh, I had to walk downstairs from my bedroom to my office and I'm clumsy, so I didn't want to ruin my new MacBook by dropping it all the way down the stairs. Okay, I have no idea if this thing's going to be charged yet. Oh, it's so beautiful. Charged. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Booting up. I think English. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Oh. Oh my gosh, this keyboard is beautiful. It's so flat. Where are we? I'm in Canada. Dark, light, or auto? I like light. Optimistic. Just like I hope to be one day. Okay, what are we gonna change this to? Charlotte's new MacBook Pro. Okay, I think we're all set up. So what I'm gonna do is pop the SD card out of this computer and edit this video on my new MacBook Pro. I'm so freaking excited. It's so fast, I can tell already. Everything's just like opening. I'm not getting any rainbow swirly circles for 10 minutes at a time. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped. I had to order this handy dandy SD card adapter because my old computer had an SD slot and this one doesn't, so I think this is about 40 bucks. All right, see you in a bit. Yay, done, edited, except for this last little bit, which I will toss in right after I finish filming it. This computer is amazing. I set it up in five seconds. I can't believe I put it off for this long. One of the things that I did to set up that's not an Apple normal thing to do is that I downloaded Firefox browser so that I could download the TubeBuddy extension because I use TubeBuddy. It really works. It's awesome. It's the only way I do my keyword searches and it gives me all my metrics and stuff, which is great. Highly recommend refurbished. If I'm ever at a point where I need an even better computer, I guess I'll cross that bridge when I come to it, but honestly, the speed of this thing is just incredible. I'm really, really happy with it. It's funny, just as I was planning to film this video this week about this refurbished new Mac, my girl, Catherine Manning, just came out with a new video talking about how she had to go into credit card debt when she started her YouTube channel, which, Obviously I had no idea about. I myself have been in credit card debt in the past, not due to YouTube, but due to other things. It just seemed like interesting timing that when I was going to make this video about a cheaper way to upgrade your equipment through Apple's refurbishment program, that Catherine Manning, my guru, came out with a video about how she had to spend a whole bunch of money, or she thought she had to spend a whole bunch of money when she started her YouTube channel. And it kind of inspired me to do something. As much as I've been talking smack about this old MacBook, it really has served me well, learning how to use a Mac, also learning how to use iMovie, also helping me make my first few videos. So if any of you guys out there are interested in starting a YouTube channel or you're very, very new to the game and you're dealing with a PC and you are not having fun with it, I would be happy to donate you my old MacBook, just like somebody donated it to me initially. So if you're interested, leave a comment in the comment section. If you have a YouTube channel, leave the link to your YouTube channel. I'm going to limit this to people who are just starting out. So people with fewer than 100 subscribers, and I will restore it all and make it all nice for you and put it back in the beautiful box and send it to you as my gift because, oh, I'm going to get philosophical here. My profession right now is not a profession. 
we're not on stage right now making magic and telling stories to people. We are stuck at home making videos and recordings and things like that. So this YouTube channel has kept me from honestly feeling like everything I've done in my life has been for nothing. It's really, really helped me have a reason and a motivation to stay creative and stay creating. So yeah, if you're interested in my offer, leave a comment and I will figure out who this Mac is going to go to because I'm super excited for anybody and everybody to start a YouTube channel and see what they can do with it. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with mine, but here's hoping it's going somewhere good. Thanks guys. Until next time, bye. <laughs>